Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Excuse my voice today. I have been very, very poorly over the last weekend as um, as you all know from my little short that I put up about making this beautiful um, cardigan that I've been working on and snuggling up with my kitten. This beautiful granny square and it's like an optical illusion, um, which I absolutely love. And when I was trying to find the pattern for this when I started to crochet, I was typing in diamond pattern uh, granny square and that kind of thing. I couldn't find it anywhere. And then I realized it was optical illusion square. So um, that's what I'm going to teach you how to do today. But instead of using these colors, because as usual, I run out of yarn, I'm going to be using um, some different colors. So let's start making this. This lovely scrap yarn that I have and a five millimeter hook. Um, and this is Aran Stylecraft Special Aran yarn, which I is my favorite, as you all know. So we're going to start off with the lightest color and we're going to need at least two other colors, getting darker as it goes up. And we're going to start off by making a slip knot. So we're going to hold our yarn like so. We're then going to twist, grab the working yarn and pull that through and tight. Then pop our hook in. And we're going to chain up a total of five. So one, two, three, four and five. We're then going to slip stitch to the first chain that we made to make a loop. So you're slip stitching through, like so. We're then going to chain up three, one, two, and three. We're going to yarn over and do a double crochet into here, into the ring. So a double crochet. And then one more double crochet into the ring. And working over that tail end so that it's nice and weaved in. Because I really do not like weaving in my ends. We're then going to chain two, one and two, and we're going to put three more double crochets back into the ring. One, two, and three. We're then going to chain up three, one, two, and three, and turn our work. So we're working on the opposite side. This counts as our first double crochet. So we're going to put one double crochet into the next stitch here. And then one double crochet into the next. And then we're going to put two double crochets into the chain two space. One and two. Then we're going to chain two, one, two, to make our corner again. Two double crochets back down into that chain two space. One and two. Then we're going to put one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So you've got your two stitches and your chain three. So you're going to put a double crochet into the top of the chain three. So one into the next stitch. One double crochet into the next stitch. And then one double crochet into the top of that chain three. And this is where we're going. And this is where we're going to change colors. So you can change colors two ways. And I have a video which I will link above here for you as well. And that will teach you how to do your color changes in two different ways. Once you've done that, you can pop these two tail ends between your working yarn and your hook. So you can work over them. We're then going to chain up three, one, two, and three, and turn our work. And we're going to put one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. So this counts as our first stitch. We've got one, two, three, and four. Just pop one double crochet into each one. And working over that tail end. Then going to tuck the two tail ends to the back. And we're going to work two double crochets into the chain two space. And this is where we're creating our corner again. 
one and two then we're chaining two one and two and two more double crochets back into that chain two space and two then we're going to work one double crochet into each of the next four stitches and then put one double crochet into the top of the chain three We're then going to chain up three, one, two, and three, turn our work, and you can snip this bit off or you can weave it back through a couple of times, it depends on what you prefer to do. I do like to weave mine back in and out to make sure it stays very secure, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to snip it. We're then going to put one double crochet into each of the next six stitches. as the chain three counts as the first stitch. We're going to make our corner again. So we're going to put two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets all into that chain space. And then you want to put one double crochet into each of the next six stitches and make sure you put one into the top of the chain three as well so that means seven double crochets and then you're going to change your color again so now i've attached my darker color and i'm going to chain up three one two and three and then i'm going to turn my work and you're going to work one double crochet into each of the next eight stitches. Now we're at the corner again, so we're going to put two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, all into that chain two space. Then you're going to put one double crochet into each of the next eight stitches and one double crochet into the top of the chain three. And that is how you continue working up your stitches or your rows. So if you wanted to make it as big as I'm making it, so it's just a total of six rows, you can do. If you wanted to make it bigger, you can continue working the rows just as so. So you chain three, work one double crochet into each of the next few stitches until you get to the corner. And then at the corner you put two double crochets, a chain two, and then two double crochets, and then work your way back down the other side. And then we're going to chain up three, one, two, and three turn our work and then when we've chained our three and turned our work we're going to work one double crochet into each stitch across until you get to the corner you're then going to put two double crochets chain two and then two double crochets back into the same chain two space to make that corner again and then you'll work one double crochet all the way down making sure you end up with one double crochet into that chain three space and the link for everything that i use within this video is going to be linked below in my description box for you as usual so once you've got your granny square done like this what you want to do is you want to choose one of these colors and which color you'd like to join all your granny squares with i usually use the lighter color and you're going to put a single crochet border all the way around so it's pretty simple when you're doing the single crochets through here and in the corners you want to put three single crochets to make that corner go round then one single crochet into each stitch all the way down and what you want to do is you just want to make sure that you have the same amount of stitches on each side because remember we're working a square so if one size side has 14 stitches and this side has 14 stitches you want to be make sure that each of these sides has 14 stitches as well and i usually work two single crochets into each double crochet and then of course at the corners always put three single crochets so you just want to work them evenly all the way around 
Okay, so now we're going to do our single crochet round all the way around and we're going to start by attaching our yarn to the square. So I'm going to start in this right hand corner at the bottom where the light colour is and I'm just going to slip stitch that on. And then go to chain one and I'm going to put two single crochets into this space here, into the corner. And when you come back round, you want to put one more into that corner because we want three single crochets in each corner. Now, on my square, I have 14 stitches all the way down. So I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And then when I get to the corner, I put three in. So therefore, I've got a center stitch and one on the end of this row. So that's 14, not including the center stitch. So I want to make sure I've got 14 stitches from this side to this side when I'm doing these odd ends. So what we're going to do is we've got two here. So we've got my first one and we've got our very center stitch. So we're not going to count the center stitch. We've got one and we're going to go into, we're going to work into those double crochets. Okay, so not around them, but into them. So we've got one single crochet there and one there. So we've got two so far. We're then going to work one into the next space. That's three. We're going to work into the bottom of the stitch. So we've got our double crochet here and that's the bottom of it. So we're going to work in that. And then rather than working around the bar, we're going to work into the bar. So we're not going in through that hole there. We're going through the bar to put our single crochet. Then into the bottom of the next stitch, we've got our double crochet there. We're going to go into the bottom of that stitch and put a single crochet. Then we're going to go into the bar, remember not around the bar, but into the bar and work a single crochet. And just continue doing that all the way up until you have 14 single crochets from one side to the other. So I'm just going up to my last stitch on the corner and then I'm going to join here. Once you've done this, you'll have something that looks a bit crazy and crumpled and that is the reason why we block our granny squares. If you're not too sure on how to block granny squares, I will have a tutorial on that which I will link above here for you as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial guys. If you have, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.